All right, so we have a bunch of ties here we're in the process of doing. This is the one we looked at outside. This is the one we'll be showing you the entire steps on. The first thing you want to do is cut the bag open. I typically do it on the side because a lot of times the growth will be the whole way towards the top and you don't want to accidentally cut off the top leaf. So I open the bag, pull it out, set that aside. You can see there are a few dead leaves at the bottom. It's not really anything to be concerned about. Um, it happens when the plantlets start to get larger in the bag. If you get smaller, smaller plants, you won't really run into that quite as much, but I'd rather start with a larger plant. So I go not quite room temperature, but not hot. A, a temperature that you're able to keep your hands under for an extended period of time. If you definitely do want it to be a little warm, it helps to get the gel off. So I'll just start getting the bulk of the gel off. Just most of it. I'm not overly gentle. I do lose roots in the process. Most of those that are roots that have damage, um, maybe they're just a little weak to start. Again, not going to be the end of the world. You'll still end up with a quality plantlet by the end of the process that'll be easy to acclimate. A little bit warm. So once I get the bulk of the gel off, I'll start with any loose foliage. Anything that comes off easily. And I'll peel it down away from the top of the plant. Even this leaf is very healthy, but you can see it has an aerial root coming out from behind it. So that leaf is going to fall off eventually anyhow, so I go ahead and just take it off. The rest look pretty good. A lot of times when we're growing them out for ourselves, I will go ahead and just take off that leaf as well. But for the purpose of this video, I'll leave it. So we're going to go back, really get in the nooks and crannies of the roots. Again, I know a lot of people are super, super delicate with this process. I am not. I have more concern with getting every bit of gel off than I am with losing some roots. If you lose some roots, the plant's going to grow just fine. If you don't get the gel off, the plant will rot. Any of the black area, which is really just from the original callus in the tissue culture process, perfectly normal. If it feels firm and it's on there, I don't mess with it too much and I've never had any issues. If it's, if I can get it off, I do. If not, I let it go. That should look pretty good. Yep, I think that'll work. Pause.